Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm here to share with you my design team project for the Cutting Cafe. This week we had a theme of hats and Regina created two files that are new. The party hat file and the top hat file. And then we also could use a older file called Assorted Crowns, which is what I chose to use. I'll have the links to all three below in the description box. And I just want to say, make sure that you stop by the Cutting Cafe on the 7th and the 21st. And that is when we post our design team project. So you will be blown away each week as you stop by and look at what the team has created. And also, when you stop by, make sure you leave a comment because when you do, you are eligible to win three free files from the Cutting Cafe during a drawing from the comments left from the previous post. So without further ado, here is my design team project. We, um, not we, but my family is having a family reunion. And so we are doing a table, table excuse me, in memory of those family members that have passed on. So they wanted a centerpiece for that. So I made this topiary and I used a couple different file types. Um, I made the topiary from a file from another company um, with a styrofoam ball. But this can easily be done with any files. Um, the Cutting Cafe has some flower files which I will also Put in the description box below that I think would work with making the topiary but it is a five inch styrofoam ball that I have covered with flowers much like the cupcake box that I did a long time ago if you saw my video that I covered with flower petals and half of a styrofoam ball and then I use a pearl cover stick pin in the center to place it in the ball. Um, then I made the paper vase and then the crowns are the Cutting Cafe files and they come in two different shapes which I will show you a little bit uh, in a little bit and there's one that is more fitting of a queen and one more fitting of a king and I chose to use the crowns on this particular piece because my aunt is always quoting the scripture in the Bible that says you are a chosen people, a royal pro priesthood, excuse me, a holy nation, God's special possession. So I use that particular quote on the base of the centerpiece. So I will move a little closer and start at the bottom. The base I just cut well, I used chipboard and I covered it in this turquoise paper, then some of the green texture um, fiber paper here, and then a smaller square of blue cardstock. And then there's that quote, you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. I used my spell binders for that. I decorated each corner with crowns from the Cutting Cafe files and this file with the assorted crowns it comes as a card and it has topper pieces so it could be a fold over card and I chose to use the topper pieces to add accents to um, the centerpiece to highlight the royal priesthood in the scripture and I used dazzles that are sparkling jewels here, stickers, and move over. And then that is the second crown. And I also put the dazzles there. And then I have a crown in the back corner back there and in that corner back there. Next, here's the flower pot vase. And basically, I just use pattern paper from Die Cuts with a View. I think it's the Blue Citrus Stack and added flat back pearls. I made one of the cr crowns larger. Of course, the crowns down here, I sized the file down. But this one is probably about the size of the card, but I manipulated the sizes just a bit to make them fit here. I think actually the card is a, is a four by five card or maybe a little bit larger. But anyway, I use the same blue cardstock that is down here for the background. I sized it down and used 
the green and kind of ink the edges and then I did a print and cut actually with my silhouette cameo and I typed in in memory of our Muldrow Muldrew family members gone but not forgotten. So I got a dial rod. I painted it using a sky blue paint and then a pearlized white paint over it. This is just some wire ribbon that I got. And then here is the bulb of the topiary. And I used three different colors of paper and each one of the flowers is four layers of flowers. And then that pearl in the center is actually a stick pen that I just stuck it in the styrofoam ball with. I really like the way this turned out. And I wanted people to be able to see that it was in memory of from both sides. So I made a the second type crown on the other side. And it still says in memory of the, our Muldrow Muldrew family members gone but not forgotten. But this is the second version of the crown. So I did a crown for the kings and a crown for the queens of our family who are no longer among us. At least not physically. In their spirit, they still live on in our hearts. So I put bling on each of the little points before the... Um, crown tips. Inside also you can see a little bit there. I put some Spanish moss in there so it looks like a real topiary and then also I have some rocks in the bottom to weight it down. Originally I was going to um, hot glue it to the base but I decided not to do that because I have to travel with it as it is now. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to pack this thing without it getting damaged for the trip down there. Because I have a 12 hour trip to get to where we're going. So um, just wanted to share that with you. Remember on the 21st to check out all the design team posts and see what great things everybody has come up with. I thank you so much for watching and again the assorted crowns file will be listed below along with um, the other two files that we could use which is a party hat and a top hat. So also before I forget if you want to see some close up stills of this project please visit my blog at SoGoodCrafter.com. Thank you so very much for watching and you have a great and very 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 blessed day. Bye-bye.